Hello, I'm Danny the Plumber. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be replacing this double bowl stainless steel kitchen sink with a single bowl. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is this one here is uh, very flimsy. It's got a very um, high number gauge and I'll get more into that later. Here's the new one that we're, we've replaced it with and I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to install this thing. So let's get started. All right, first, you're going to have to shut off the water underneath the kitchen sink by turning off, in this case, I've got two angle stops, the hot and the cold side. We're going to turn those things off. Next, we have to remove all of the stuff that's underneath and attached to the sink. I had a soap dispenser there. I'm disconnecting the trap here and the tailpiece and the two-part waste. We're going to remove everything from underneath the kitchen sink so we can get this job completed. Now I'm removing the garbage disposal and the dishwasher hose attached to it. Those things are sometimes get real jammed on there real tight. Getting some, got some channel locks to remove it here. Um, and remember to get a bucket. Those things sometimes hold a little bit of water in them. Now I'm removing the garbage disposal and that's locked in real tight as well. So I'm just starting to hit it a little bit with the hammer and, and that screwdriver. And then I've got my garbage disposal wrench or key and we'll loosen that thing up and remove that one too. And I'm not worried about the electrical component. Of course, I don't have the switch on for the garbage disposal. So I'm just gonna leave that attached for now. And we're going to disconnect the flex connectors for the water supply on the hot and the cold side here. All right, now I'm ready to remove the sink. And whoever installed this sink originally installed it funky with these little clips here and then drywall screws and some wire. And I'll show you why they did that in a little bit. Um, they were just trying to make it easy on themselves, but it's not exactly the proper way or the way I'd like to do it and we'll get more into that later. So I'm cutting all those things loose and that those things are just holding this sink downward so it's held into place. Kind of Mickey Mouse and I'll show you the right way to do it. Now that I've got all those wires um, cut out, we are going to take a little putty knife and kind of just pry this sink gently um, apart from the silicone that it's attached to onto the countertops here. I've got my helper, Simeone, helping me today. and He's just going to carefully remove that thing and uh, making sure, of course, when you guys do this, all that plumbing is already disconnected, as I said previously. So. We'll, we will remove that one and um, clean up the countertop in preparation for the new install. And there's a bunch of silicone that we just got to scrape away right here. We first like to start with the putty knife and then um, kind of clean it up with a rag and then go back with a, uh, I've got in my hand right there, a utility blade. Wow, look at me in the background. I'm actually reading the directions. No, I'm kidding, guys. It's always important to read the directions. You may miss something, even if you absolutely know how to install something. I always like to read the directions over, just in case you miss something. Um, here, my helper is scraping out the old moldy silicone from the back there. It's just, you know, it wasn't part of our bid or anything, but it's the time to do it because it's much easier when that sink is out of place. Okay, here are the brackets. These are the hold down brackets that keep the stainless steel sink in place. Um, they look like this and they've got another screw that screws counterclockwise actually here. And that thing slides into the under part of the sink. And that part right there grabs onto either the wood or the granite countertop or whichever kind of countertop you have. And the way it grabs on is you'll take a screwdriver, not a putty knife like I have here, and you will screw that thing 
tighter. And of course, we're going to get more into this in a bit. I just wanted to show you what those little clips look like. All right. And so um, those clips slide in like this, and they can slide in two different places at the either end, like I just did. I did one end or on some grooves. More on that also later. All right. Uh, what we did there is we just uh, pre-fit it, make sure everything fit properly in there, but no silicone or, or um, clips are on it yet. Here I am just pre-assembling a bunch of those clips um, all at once, getting ready for our stainless steel sink install. So the reason the previous installer um, installed it with those wires, those blue wires and the um, drywall screws is because this right here, the, it was too thick for the clips. We've got plywood right there and you've got the granite each about three quarters of an inch thick so about an inch and a half and most sink clips will not accommodate that amount of space so what I have to do instead of using those whole wires held down like that is I've got to get um, more room which it means I have to eliminate that plywood and strap those clips straight onto the granite uh, countertop so I've got my Dremel Multimax and I'm just kind of um, taking out a uh, piece of that wood in the front in three different areas just enough room for the clip I don't want to remove that whole piece of plywood because it may affect the integrity of the granite you know I want to make sure that there's enough um, for support underneath and so I'm just gonna remove a little bit enough for one of those black clips in this area here and two more areas in the front and then the rest of it um, I've got enough uh, room where there's granite and not the plywood. So once again, the plywood and the granite just make it too thick for those clips. So in the back here, I've got just granite, which is great. I removed some wood back there. On this side, I didn't have any trouble. It was already okay, just granite. Here I've got one uh, little groove that I've cut out, a second groove that I've cut out for the clip, and a third groove, and that's in the front there. Enough for three of those black clips for me and the other side was fine it was just granite and so those clips will be able to clip right onto it now it's time just to kind of clean up the area we're getting ready for, to set it down in place I want to put silicone down so I want to get that area nice and clean um, the proper place to put the silicone is not on the sink it's on the excuse me it's not on the countertop it's on the sink I've got some uh, dap silicone sealant that I'm gonna apply around the perimeter and it's right in that groove, right on that edge, is where we're going to put some of that silicone 360. And I like to apply a gener generous amount of it. If it, you know, comes out, spills out a little bit, just wipe it up. But you want it to hold, you know, real, real nicely in there. And the silicone also acts as a way of waterproofing it so water doesn't go um, hit the countertop and go underneath the sink there. Once we applied the silicone around the whole perimeter, we're ready to drop it in. And now you can see I put some of those um, clips in place uh, before I even dropped it in there. And um, that, that's fine to do, or you can do it underneath. It's just a little easier to do a couple of them in place at first, just at least one or two or three of them just to kind of hold it in place. See, there's a groove right there. You can slide that clip either in those grooves or at either end. Um, but you can't slide it in any other place. Um, and I'll show you in a second how to slide those things on. So it, there's the clip. It'll go right in to that groove right there. And then once it's out of the groove, it's locked in place. And then you'll turn it to the side and lock it into your countertop or plywood, whatever you have. In this case, I've got that granite that I'm going to lock it into right there. And I've got a few of those clips on um, every side of it, three or four on every side. And so here we go. We got that clip in place right there. I've got my Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to um, tighten that thing down equally. So I'll go back and forth. I'll hit one, I'll go to another one, and I'll go to another one all around and then add another one and continue to tighten equally on all those clips. Here are the ones in the front that I've got. I've cut out for those grooves that worked real nicely, as you can see there. All right, I've got all those clips in place. It's, the sink is held down real nicely. And as you can see, we've 
uh, put some silicone in the back right there it's just easier to do uh, before the faucets installed now I like to put some silicone right on that edge too just to give it one more kind of waterproofing um, you know aspect to it and before we installed this I forgot to mention we measured each corner equally the four corners there and um, got it as close as we could and so it's nice and square to the wall and now I've reconnected all the plumbing, put a new faucet in there, and all the plumbing underneath. Um, this was an LK Luster Stone single bowl drop-in kitchen sink. Um, there's a difference between a drop-in and an undermount. If this was an undermount, um, the stone would have to be done at the same time. But this is an overmount, so I can put it right on top of that granite there. Uh, ideal for you know these type of situations. Um, I believe this was a. 18 gauge uh, sink and the lower the number in the gauge uh, the thicker the metal um, so usually a good residential sink will be either a 16 or an 18 gauge but you can get gauges anywhere between 22 and 15 15 being the thickest all right so there it is that's how you install your kitchen sink um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out my channel for more plumbing how-to tutorials. Thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful day.